Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this evening's weather update. So a major flood threat is going to be impacting much of the south over the next three to five days. And opening up with the Weather Prediction Center's excessive flooding rainfall outlook for this evening, we have a marginal risk across southeastern California into far southern Nevada, into southwestern Arizona, including Phoenix and Tucson, Arizona this evening. And then, focusing in on the south central plains, we have a slight risk of flash flooding from Houston through southeast Texas, up the Sabine River into western Louisiana in the yellow this evening, with a marginal risk extending into Arkansas, uh, eastern central Louisiana, southeastern Oklahoma, and far eastern Texas this evening. Now looking at tomorrow's excessive flooding rainfall outlook from the Weather Prediction Center, it gets a lot more serious. Where the Weather Prediction Center has issued a moderate risk of excessive flooding rainfall tomorrow for far eastern Texas into central and northern Louisiana in the red, we have Shreveport, Louisiana, Alexandria, Louisiana, and bordering on Longview, Texas in the moderate risk tomorrow. And we have a massive slight risk of flash flooding uh, in areas like Austin through Houston, Bryan College Station, Dallas, through Little Rock, Memphis, Jackson, Mississippi, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana tomorrow, with a marginal risk in the dark green extending from southern Texas through southeast Missouri, southwest Kentucky, west Tennessee, western Alabama, in the dark green tomorrow. And then it gets even worse as we go into Thursday. Looking at the excessive flooding rainfall outlook for Thursday, um, actually this is for this is going to be for Wednesday. Looking at the excessive flooding outlook for Wednesday, an even bigger a moderate risk extending from southeast Texas through Louisiana, Mississippi, northern Alabama in the red. This includes Jackson, Mississippi, and Alexandria, Monroe, Lake Charles, Louisiana, Starkville, Mississippi, northern Alabama, and then we have a slight risk of flooding for Wednesday from southeastern Texas, including Houston, Bryan College Station, through Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Louisiana, most of Mississippi, uh, much of northern Alabama, including Birmingham and Huntsville, and then up towards Nashville, Tennessee, and south central Kentucky, and a marginal risk in the dark green from south central Texas again in Austin, San Antonio through Little Rock, Louisville, Frankfort, Knoxville, Montgomery, even Atlanta, and Greenville, getting in on the marginal risk for Wednesday. So a very dangerous flooding threat for multiple days over the south, and I can go even into Thursday, Slight risk from Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, the Western Carolinas, into Tennessee. Marginal risk across much of the south into Appalachia. And even into Friday, we're still looking at a slight risk across portions of southern Alabama, southwest Georgia, western Florida, with a marginal risk across much of the southeast, and again, across portions of Kansas, Oklahoma, and north Texas. So taking a look at the current radar, uh, we are currently... Uh, seeing a big area of light to moderate rain extending from Texas through Louisiana, Arkansas, into Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, through St. Louis. And this is actually, we're actually in the middle of a lull in the rain activity. And this is going to be just some light to moderate rain moving through, not really flash flooding producing. That is going to come tomorrow. And taking a look at our, um, flooding alerts. We have flash flood watches already issued for eastern Texas uh, from Milan County through Tyler through uh, Lufkin into western central Louisiana, Alexandria, and Monroe for from Tuesday 3 a.m. Central Standard Time through Tuesday 6 p.m. Central Standard Time for rainfall tolls of 2 to 3 inches and isolated higher amounts up to 5 inches in East Texas, and then to Louisiana, uh, 3 to 5 inches of additional rainfall through Wednesday afternoon, going to be leading to a very serious flood threat. And taking a look at 24-hour rainfall accumulations, uh, we've already seen a good 3 to 5 inches of rain from San Antonio through Austin, through just south of Waco, uh, down towards Victoria, much of southeastern Texas has seen a good two to three inches of rain as well into Shreveport, Louisiana, Texarkana, and Hot Springs, Arkansas. So the ground is already saturated 
so any additional rainfall is going to lead to a pretty serious flood threat for these areas. So timing out our next round of rain, our first round is going to continue to impact uh, the Ozarks into Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana through the overnight with continuous light to moderate rain. And then we're going to be seeing our next round of very heavy rain begin around 5 a.m. tonight in southeast Texas, northwest Louisiana. And this rain is going to really blossom across Texas, pretty much from central through north Texas, northern Louisiana, as we go into about um, 8 to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And the rain is going to last for several hours and it's going to train over the same areas pretty much 4, 6 to 12 hours from tomorrow morning through tomorrow night, midnight. And then we see another round of training rain as we go into, go into Wednesday morning from Texas through Louisiana, Mississippi, and Tennessee. And this rain just goes over the same areas all day Wednesday into Thursday morning as well. So this is a very serious flood threat, I'm afraid, that is unfolding, especially across the Mid-South. And taking a look at some of these rainfall accumulations in the 18Z run of the NAMNES model, uh, very impressive rainfall accumulations. We are looking at widespread additional rainfall accumulations of 3 to 5 inches in East Texas through uh, central, southern, even northern Arkansas, uh, Mississippi, and Louisiana. And we are seeing many swaths of 5 to 8 inches of rain across Houston into southeast Texas, towards Shreveport, Alexandria, towards northern Mississippi, in areas like Tupelo, and we are even, even seeing isolated pockets up to 9 to 10 inches. So this would cause major flash flooding if this actually happens, and there is a very good chance that we are going to be seeing rainfall accumulations between 5 and 10 inches in many areas across east Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana, and Mississippi over the next three days. So make sure you're really preparing for flash flooding if you live across the Arklatex, Arklamis in the southeast Texas and southern Louisiana. And closing off the video with the uh, one to five day quantitative precipitation forecast from the Weather Prediction Center, um, have a bullseye of extremely heavy rain across Louisiana in the central Mississippi of seven to 10 inches with a five to seven inches across East Texas through most of the rest of Louisiana, central Mississippi, northern Alabama, widespread three to five inches across most of East Texas, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, northern uh, Georgia, far western Florida, and then getting into the Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley Midwest, still looking at widespread two to four inches of rain, and then up toward the northeast and the Great Lakes, about an inch to two inches. So, if you live anywhere from East Texas through Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Arkansas, you need to be preparing for a dangerous flooding event over the next three days, as we are going to be seeing uh, copious amounts of rain moving over the same areas for several days in a row. So please take this flood threat seriously. Uh, thanks for watching this evening's weather update. Please stay safe and have a wonderful evening, my friends.